Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sneakerhead 721. And for today's episode, uh, first of all, quick shout out to you know, everybody on on YouTube, everybody on Facebook. I've been showing you my love, supporting, sharing. Appreciate all y'all. Appreciate all the support. Um, and we're just gonna keep it going. You feel me? Going into the uh, Christmas season, it's the cold time. A lot of bangers are dropping. You already seen my first half of the season uh, of the year of the month second half of the month is coming but like i mentioned there's a lot of surprise drops and we just had the pharrell indies these are dropping tomorrow if you run to the adidas store now you can put in your bid for these they're dropping on saturday all right with that out of the way let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite sneakers in my collection uh, this was definitely top one at one point in my collection. That was probably top three. Definitely still up there, top five. Um, when I make an official video of my top five or top 10 sneaker haul, I'll definitely have them ranked. At this moment, they're just floating about first and fifth. Um, first, I'm gonna give y'all a quick history on these sneakers. So um, back in the 90s, it was first release. And it's a basket. It was originally a basketball shoe. I'm have it on screen. You already seen the name in the title, anyway. So, or or have you? Hmm. Anyways, um, so yeah, in the '90s they were dropped. Firstly, um, they are called the street balls. Enough with the suspense. So they're called the street balls um, by Adidas. And like the name said, they were all about basketball, the street lifestyle, the street basketball lifestyle, um, freestyling basketball. And the f official launch was in '92, I believe. Um, and that was in the midst of um, Jordan popularity, Jordan expansion, domination of the game, the dunks. Um, because as I mentioned in my previous uh, Superstar video, um, Superstars was not doing, uh, Adidas wasn't doing so in the basketball game after the dropping of um, Nike, when Nike started to pick up steam in the game. So they switched over to lifestyle mostly, but then in Europe, basketball was a growing sport. And since Adidas is a European brand, they decided, hey, let's put out a basketball sneaker, more focused in Europe. And that's what the street ball were. And they had a big lunch for it. And that was around 92, 93, when uh, Germany, Spain um, were, I believe, champ um, European champions in basketball. So, and uh, as you know, um, Adidas is a German company. So they was really big, blew up. Fast forward about 25 years in 2017 they had the idea to um go back in the sneaker vault like we call it bring back a retro and completely redesign it and that's some that's a bit of controversy when it comes to these sneakers because a lot of people see them now and be like this is nothing like the original I'll, I'll 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 have had it or i'll have it on the screen already or now this is what it used to look like that's the original street ball and if you look at the one i have in my hand right now it looks almost nothing alike and this is the pair i'm talking about this is the new street ball well not new it's a year old now but yeah so these are one of my favorite sneakers in my collection um the midsole is light strike which i believe is the same as the hardens where is my hardens okay my hardens have disappeared they're somewhere around here but yeah, uh, I believe these are the same as the, yeah, I believe these are the same as the Hardens. Um, but yeah, so underneath is rubber. As you can tell by the name Street Ball, it has to have some traction. Um, if you're playing, if you ever played in a basketball sneaker before, um, you expect nothing less. So these are the sneakers. I'll just give you a one-on-one -on -one time with it. This is the traction underneath. Um, and as you can see here, this is beat by the way, I've used this a lot, if you can't tell. Um, here is part of the midsole, the foam that goes underneath for extra um, um, stability and goes right to the midfoot with the light strike technology. Um, a lot of rubber goes up to the midsole as well. You have the three stripes under the mesh here, hidden away. Um, so nice stitching, detail under stitching here. And it's suede, in case you couldn't tell as yet some uh, neoprene material here with some polka dots don't know what the reason for you i think it's just aesthetic same as the tongue same material here as well with um with suede on the upper of the tongue with the adidas branding 
So there's a lot of suede in this shoe. Um, up in the lateral side, you have a oval rubber piece that's just just there for aesthetics as well. Um, but overall, it's a very wavy shoe. It's been compared to the Wave Runners, I believe, or the Yeezy 700s quite a bit because of the um, aggressiveness of the midsole. So how it looks like in a wave pattern and how it's aggressive. Um, so that's why it's been um, compared to that. Um, if you look at the inside, actually it doesn't look that, that beat, but yeah, it is, as you can tell by underneath, but yeah. Um, yeah the lockdown is hella tight on these. As you can see by your ankle entry, there's a lot of ankle support, but it's a very tight fit as well. And here, let me see if you can see this well, there's also a rubber holding this down, as you can see right here. And if you can focus, yeah, you guys could see it. On either side, there is a rubber piece holding it down. So you really get locked down with these. When these are on, they are on. So these are great to play in. They're not a performance sneaker, like I mentioned, so I do not play in these. I do not play period. <laughs> um, but if I would, I probably wouldn't play in these. But um, yeah, so pretty dope. I, I love this sneaker, like I said. This, the lineup piece I told you guys, is a piece of like very foamy material. Very nice and comfortable. The light strike is soft. Not your boost type comfort, but it's really cool. And what I like about, I bought these last year when I was heading to a Soka versus dancehall event, glow in the dark. Might have some pictures on here with these shoes on. When the light, the blue light hit it, the light the, from the club, of course, these do kind of reflect. They don't shine, but they reflect. So that's pretty dope. I find that was really cool. And I like how it goes from like neon to yellow to orange-ish and then to pink at the end. So it makes it very versatile if you want to go colorful and you know, you have a suede upper and just colorful underneath. I had on a black top with a glow in the dark skull. Hopefully I'll have a picture up if I could find it. And I, this is actually the crazy thing about these sneakers, if I'm not mistaken. This is the first sneaker that I had multiple colorways in. So I actually bought these again. And this should be right here, I believe. Let's see if I did my homework. Yeah. So these are the street ball. This is the box it comes in. If you like just uh, kind of an unboxing. So I went through the size, my size 11, which is 45 and a third and European sizing. Um, 11 US, um, 10 and a half UK. So yeah, that's my size. That's what I go for. Went through the size. <laughs> okay. Uh, this actually is the, the box for the black ones. Uh, so yeah, I, I have another pair of sneakers in here. So apparently my homework was not done so well. These are some old, um, Adidas <laughs> actually have <laughs> some tennis shoes. Uh, this is great content. Um, I don't even remember the name of these. But I had these forever. These are one of my oldest Adidas sneakers. And you can see it with the uh, <laughs> with the, the the Velcro. But okay, let's let's uh, let me look for this. Wait just a second. Give me a minute. A few moments later. One hour later. Two hours later. Three hours later. One eternity later. So here we are. <laughs> um, this has to be the one because it's the only other street ball I have. And it was up there. Not, 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 sorry, not here where I picked it. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, back to the regular programming. Um, yes, this is the right one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have the black ones, so I decided let me go for a white pair. And these are on sale, by the way. If you go on the um, Adidas store, they should be on sale. If, I mean, on sale, if they still have them. Those were the OG colorways, the black one that I just showed you guys. So I think those are sold out. But there's a ton of other colorways that released. They had the... They had a colorway that actually resembled the uh, Yeezy from Nike. The grayish with green and pink. That's one of the most, that was one of the most hyped ones. I'm not sure that's available either. But these are the other ones that I have. So this is white and orange. 
had a big debate. Some people thought it was pink, but it's actually orange. Um, I like, I love these. These are actually, um, if well, you should be able to tell, but the technical difficulties. Yeah, these are suede. This is more leather. So I'm gonna give you all a little close up as well with this one, just like I did with the other one. So here you have it, ladies and gents. And here what they did, what I like what they did with this one is around the rubber part, they had this little touch of suede, gray suede touch around it. So this is way less suede here as well in the heel. Have a bit of suede as well. Not too feathery, not too smooth. Changes color, as you can see, when I pass my finger. You feel me? You always like your suede to do this. Gives you that little satisfying effect. But anyways, um, also nylon here. Inside, full orange. The top, same suede, same construction, everything. Just less suede, that's the only thing. So you have here uh, leather, the mesh. The three, three stripes is more visible on this one, of course. Because white and orange, there's more contrast. Underneath is rubber. As I said, haven't really wore these, maybe twice or once. I think just inside the house or yeah, I think once outside. So those are my two, uh, this one most, this one mostly, and then this one. So uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, these are probably, well, both of them are really summer sneakers. The black one is more versatile, I would say. The white one is kind of exclusive for uh, spring in the summer, I guess, because Again, white and orange, really cool for um, King's Day here in the Netherlands. Um, so that's dope. And those are just versatile to go anywhere with them. I'm gonna give you all some unfeet of these with some different pants variation to see how it styles, how it fits, um, how it looks on feet, basically. Um, thank you for sticking around with all the um, technical difficulties. My wires popping up, couldn't find the right shoe. <sighs> This was my friend. This is gonna be one of my best episodes ever. I can already see it. But I appreciate you guys for kicking it with your boy. It's JP, JPS, J, you know the rest. That should have been the intro, but it's the outro. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for popping up and sharing some of your weekend with me. Have a good one, yo. I'm out. Mm -hmm.